What is up ladies and gentlemen? Today I'm going to be showing off a little bug, a little hack, you might say, that will help you get way more HP for boss hunting, for doing whatever you got to do. Um, yeah, it's, it's just amazing. You got to do it. You got to try it. So what you're going to need to do is get a bunch of consumables. I mean, this is what I stick with pretty regularly. You can get a bunch of love chocolates from a couple, by the way. If you get your couple to level 21, you can get a bunch of these, like 50 of them, which is great. Um, anyways, more HP, more HP, more HP, more HP, more HP, blah, 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 right? Just get all the consumables you can find, even the potions, the elixirs, all that kind of stuff, right? Get all of the consumables you can get because you can do a little trick to max out your HP, well, to get it much higher than normal. <laughs> In between these two bodyguards right here, it's pretty cool. All right, <clears throat> now to the trick. Here's the thing. Make sure you have some restats on you at all times, basically, essentially. If you're a squishy character, you're going to want to do this trick because it's going gonna, it's gonna to help out like crazy, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and restat to max stamina. Now, the reason you want to do this is because the, the amplifications of your consumables, so like, for example, 10% HP, it's going to be built off of what your current stamina slash HP is right now, okay? So if you max out your HP, use the consumables, and then switch your stats, you're still going to have the increased buff of the consumables with your max stamina, but you'll have more stats to use after you use your reskill. You know, so you'll have a greater, I mean, you'll have a, the better opportunity of having better damage and better HP. And with this method as well, you can get your HP up high enough to the point where you can um, essentially just put a little bit on dex to max out your dex. Unless you have some pretty insane axes, then, you know, double stat or like dex or whatever, you'll get some help with, with uh, block. But anyways, here it is. All right, so my HP was at 4 500k right and now when I maxed it out it basically went up by 1 million with those consumables here I'm just gonna do uh, whatever I'll just do all the normal ones I do and so with all the consumables and max HP it's gonna be around 2.2 million as you can see so now that's pretty great, right? But my damage would be poopy right now if I tried to do that. So you'll see here. Use another restat. What I like to do is just kind of, let's see, get up to about 80 and 70. What? There we go. Okay, another 50. 250 on here to get up to 80, 70%. That's just me right now, you know. I'm just starting out to get these boss hunt rounds going. And then the rest I like to do on strength for max damage, right? Now as you can see right up here, 1.1 mil. That's pretty good. Now I put on my pet, right? All this other stuff, blah, blah, blah. It'll go up even more just a little bit. So basically kind of a goal to get to is 1.3 to 1.8 if you can try to get there with your max stamina consumable bug hack kind of thing and then max out some some strength and dex to try to get your block up a little bit. Now this is kind of like a slayer guide as well, you know. Not everybody's block is going to be high like this. Um, so now as you see, if I use the consumables with just 500k as the base, 500k HP, my, my HP would only be raised up to about, I don't know, 750 to 800k. But with this, starting on the full stamina build, then using the consumables, I get all the way up to 1.2, 1.3, 1.4 million about, depending on, you know, the consumables I'm using and, and the pets and stuff, right? So this is a huge thing because now, essentially, San 1, San 2, Hearn 1, Hearn 2, uh, Animus, Cursed Wilds, Savage Wilds, um, Clockworks, those bosses can be hunted essentially extremely easily with this method. You don't even have to worry about anything. You can just full stamina consumable bug and then go full strength and some decks to get your block up and whatever and you'll be basically fine. Now just for some security you can get some scroll of resurrections 
from the scroll shop, and that'll help you if you die. And with that, I, I sometimes die on the up one and up two, because that the boss is what level 300, 290, something like that. I can't remember. But all in all, you should be able to boss hunt much more easily if you do this. Okay, these things are found in the RC shop. These things found in the RC shop, RC shop, um, scroll shop, boxes, animus boxes. Oh, those are just beads actually, but what are the, these things? If you, you open up these, you can get some potions. So that's going to help greatly. If you're a new player and you haven't known about this, just do it. You know, Get some restats, have them on you at all times, and just go for it. Okay? It'll help you so much. You, have, you essentially open up like 300 to 500 stat points that you don't need to be using to, to just survive some of the boss hits, right? So this is a little tip that I think will help. And shout out to the Giftbox Guild. We rising. We getting better. We doing our things. <laughs> We're all freaking slayers except water style right here. Kind of looks like a slayer though. He's got two weapons. But, yeah, I think that's it, guys. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, thumbs up, you know. Recommend it to your other friends if they don't know about this glitch. And uh, I think that's it. If you want to check out the guild, go to the forums, guild's recruiting section. Um, yeah. My hope is to get a new PC by the end of November 2018. So, unfortunately, I have to stick through with some pretty simple guides or I'm not really running around because if I try to run around... This game lags like crazy. But anyways, that's it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this was helpful. And peace out.